right, what's going on guys? Oscar Zulu here. I wanted to do a quick run through the Burgundy Series Volume 1 Multi-Kit. I wanted to kind of show you guys what the pack comes with, kind of my thought process behind the sounds that are in it, and also break down the sample that you guys just heard. As you saw, every sound in that sample was from this kit. All the effect sounds, all the drums, the drum loop, everything is from this kit. So the main idea behind this kit was to give you guys stuff that you can't get from VSTs, right? So I didn't spend a whole lot of time trying to make one shots. I feel like the VSTs that are out there emulating analog gear are really, really great. And so most of the time they sound better than analog one shots in my opinion so rather than loan you up with a bunch of one shots that you wouldn't use i thought it would be a lot better use of my time and your money to get stuff that you can't get from vsts so i recorded a lot of phrases and loops and arpeggios and effects sounds and these are sounds that are harder for vsts to emulate and sound better coming from a real analog synth so We'll do a quick run through the folders and then uh, we'll get into breaking down that sample. So we'll start here in this first folder, the arpeggio folder. I have two different folders in here, major and minor. They're both just all C major or C minor arpeggios. These are just quick, easy to grab in, throw on top of other ideas. are some of the arpeggios again nothing crazy the second thing we have here are chords and the reason i made a dedicated chord folder there always are a couple really great sounds from the prophet that sound really good as chords but when you bounce them as one shots and play a chord with them it just doesn't sound as good so i recorded some of those again just c major and c minor each sound has a major version and a minor version Again, simple chords, you can get basic triad chord progressions going with these chords. We'll skip over the drums for now, we'll come back to drums. So the effects folder has some really cool stuff for intros, outros, and transitions. You know, transitioning from A section to B section or whatever. There's a lot of uh, sweeps and delay modulation stuff in here. So again, a lot of kind of really harsh analog sounds that are harder to get from VSTs. We'll jump to the one shots folder and then we'll talk about the loops and phrases. I have some bass stuff that is similar to that last folder where I played the bass note and held it out for a long time and messed with either like a sync knob or a cutoff knob and just gave some really cool variations to the basses that again are harder to get in VSTs. So again, some pretty cool transitional intro, outro, bass sounds, and then also some just regular ones that you can use too. So here we are in the synth folder, and again, both of these folders are kind of short and concise. Didn't do a whole lot in here because of the reasons that I've already mentioned, but there still are some nice sounds in here. You can hear I'm kind of really going for the raw analog sounds. Where this pack really shines is the loops and the phrases. And so we'll jump into the phrases here and you can see this is a, a really big folder. I think there's 60 phrases or so. And these are short little 
fragments of ideas, you know, me plucking around on the synth through the pedals and recording it. And you can layer a bunch of these. I mean, I've made entire samples out of just these little phrases. So we'll run through a couple of these. So you can hear there's a pretty wide variety of sounds in here. I tried to have some that were more just raw analog sounds and then some that were more affected and have a lot of crazy delays and pedal stuff going on, uh, but a lot to choose from in there. And similarly, we have the loops folder and there's two more folders in here, chord progressions and loops. Again, same thing that I was talking about the chords earlier. Sometimes I was just coming up with good progressions with these sounds as I was patching the synths, and I thought these could be good starters. You know, if you're lacking inspiration, you can just pull a quick little chord progression. Again, no crazy progressions here. It's all pretty simple stuff. It's mostly just the sound design that I was focused on. some simple chord progressions and then we have loops and this is kind of a mix between the phrases and the chord progressions these were ideas that i was coming up with as i was sound designing and i think most of them have kind of chords and a top line melody and that's why they have kind of their own dedicated folder in this loops folder so we'll run through some of those <laughs> So again, similar to the chord progression folder, you can come in here, look for inspiration, chop those up into smaller phrases, you know, whatever you want to do. But I thought between the phrases, chord progression and loops folders, you can pretty much make entire ideas. And then you just need maybe one bass or a couple one shots to kind of hold the melody together. And then you have your effects and your arpeggios to add on top of it for even further ear candy. So that's all of the synth sounds. Let's get into the drum folder. We have 808s here, and I think eight out of the 10 of them were actually started from the Prophet. I tried to get a little bit more experimental, but still throw some uh, really good, useful ones in there as well. Kind of like I did with the whole pack. There's some really experimental stuff, but also some really useful stuff. So 808s, hats, same deal. This started with noise on the Prophet 6. Kicks. Percussion. The snare folder is kind of cool because I did make some experimental snares. I also chose some kind of go-to snares for myself and ran them through tape and really, really hit it hard on the tape. You know, and I really like those sounds.
So some decent snares in there. I really, really like the tape snares. I've been using them a ton since I made them. Where the drum section really shines is this live loop section. Air quotes, live loop. I didn't actually play these drums live, but it's a live drum kit sound. And I put together a bunch of different loops and a couple of different drum sounds and effects. And so there's some really cool stuff in here to add to those transitions, intros, outros, kind of like a lot of the stuff in the pack. Just like with everything else, tried to give some really useful things that could be used over and over, and then try to give some more experimental things. Again, that's kind of the idea behind this whole pack is give you things that are easy to use. You can just drag in a couple sounds from this pack and have a, a, a completed sample or beat with very little effort. But I also put a lot of other things in there that hopefully will inspire you to try different things. That's some of the sounds in the pack. I think it's my best pack by far, as far as the one-shot multi-kits go. With that, we'll break down the sample that I made, I'll show you all the sounds that I used. I'll play through it one more time so you can hear it. So the top sound we have here is from the effects folder. I guess I'll pull this out a little bit so you can see a little more. And I actually chopped it just to save time. You know, very simple, but you put it over this base. You know, that gives you a really cool intro bass sound or again, intro, outro, transition. Just, I think it would be really difficult to recreate that same type of feeling in the box with only VSTs. To take it a step further, I grabbed one of the modulation delays from the effects folder. And then another one actually here as like a transition. And so this little intro part is all effects and then one kind of big sweeping bass sound. And then we have this bass here, it's, it's the same bass, but I put an EQ on it. The EQ is just taking out the top end, so it's more of just like a sub now. And the other thing is I didn't add a lot of effects to any of these. Um, this one has a pancake and an EQ. You know, this effect sound, this effect sound just has the pancake. This doesn't have anything. This doesn't have anything. And this bass at the start doesn't have anything. So the only thing really being affected here is the panning and a little EQ on this one effect sound. Then we have this bass that just has an EQ. Next we have these two different phrases from the phrase folder. Just going back and forth between a high phrase and a low phrase. Nothing but an EQ boosting some highs on the high one, and then just an EQ, you know, kind of doing the same thing on the low one. You now I was trying to go for kind of just the repetitive 
hard, maybe Don Tolliver, Travis Scott sound on this, as I'm sure you could hear. And we have these two one shots playing, and here I'll solo them so you can hear what they sound like. Very simple, I'll have this one. Just some high end and there's no effects on that one. And then on this one, we have some EQ really boosting those highs and then a micro shift for some chorus. So again, there's not really much sound design going on in here. I'm just kind of trying to make all of the pieces fit together. These sounds are basically completely raw. And then we have this drum loop. And on that, nothing but an EQ, just taking some highs out. So again, pretty much raw there. And the last new sound as far as the sample goes is this. This is another sound from the phrase folder. And then on the second half, I just pitched it up an octave. And Logic kind of messed up the stretching when I pitched it up, but I liked the way that it sounds, so I left it. And on that, all we have is a micro shift and an EQ boost and some highs again. You know, this is also when the drums come in, so I will open Machine. This is where I do my drums. You can see these are all Oscar Zulu drums. So again, you can hear the drums are a little bit experimental, but also still usable. And that's, I think, really the sweet spot with anything really is like you want it to sound different enough that it catches people's ear, but not so far out in left field that people are like, what is that? But anyway, that is the Burgundy Series Volume 1 Multi-Kit give you an idea of the sounds that are in it and what the pack is capable of making. This kit is really capable of a lot. This is kind of the, the sound that the kit was designed for. Again, this Travis Scott, Don Tolliver type sound, but I've made a lot of different sounding beats. I've been posting them on my Instagram, on my stories. So it is capable of doing a lot more than just this sound, but this sound is kind of what it's tailored for. If you like the kit, go grab it. It's on Drum Broker and want to thank you guys for watching and thanks for the support.